The golden rule. Treat others the way that you want to be treated. It's more than just the ultimate nicety. It's more than just something we send our kids off to school with. Napoleon Hill says that it's the most important of all of the laws of success. And the laws of success are based on universal law, like the law of attraction. So there's this unspoken agreement there that it's supposed to be reciprocal. That when you treat others the way that you want to be treated, they'll treat you pretty good as well. But we all know that nice guys finish last, and we all know that one nice girl, you know her, the one who would just do anything for anyone, but she's the one that's often overlooked and undervalued. You know, it's easy to say that that's because the people that they're treating really well just aren't that great of people to begin with, but that's not true. You see, growing up, 90% of my friends were male and 90% of them were womanizers, just not very good people. But they never treated me that way. They never disrespected me, they never tried to sleep with me, they never spoke to or about me in any ways even remotely resembling the way that they spoke about other women. But on the other side of that, the people that I have loved the most in my life, people I would have just died for, great people, are the only ones who have ever completely dogged me out and didn't even care when I walked out of their life, no matter how much I loved them or how much I did for them. So what is this? Well, if you're the type of person that treats other people really good but still gets dogged out in your relationships, if you're the nice guy that finishes last or the nice girl that's often overlooked, I can guarantee you it's because you're missing this one key element from the golden rule. You. You see, in those relationships where I got dogged out, they were the only relationships that I constantly sacrificed myself for. I was always putting the other person first. But when you put other people first, all you're really doing is teaching them that you come second. The way that you treat yourself is the standard by which other people will treat you. You set that bar for how other people will just unconsciously know what you'll put up with. This is especially important for parents because I don't know about you, but I feel that it's my job as a role model to teach my son that it's okay for him to choose himself. And the way that you treat yourself is the way that you give other people in your life unconscious permission to treat themselves. See, there's a saying that until you love yourself, you'll always be chasing after people who don't love you either, and that's true. But even more importantly, you're also teaching people who do love you that it's okay for them not to show up in the ways that you need them because you won't even show up for yourself. If you're the kind of person that's always getting left in relationships, like people are violating your boundaries the other way, they go too far away from you, it's time to start asking yourself, how many times have I left myself in this relationship? People will always rise to meet your standards. And it's not selfish. Anybody who accuses you of being selfish for choosing yourself is being selfish with your time and your energy. It's not about sacrificing other people just like it's not about sacrificing yourself. It's kind of like if you want Chinese and they want pizza, you both order in. It's feeding yourself. It's taking care of your own needs so that you're not placing that responsibility, the ability to respond for your happiness on everyone else. So start choosing yourself. Start feeding yourself and watch other people be relieved that they don't have that burden anymore. And watch them rise to meet your standards. I promise you this works, guys, only 100% of the time. Love you.